This is Curriculum Radio. We tune in for you. And now, get ready for a special episode of Curriculum's text-to-speech podcast, exclusively for girls. This is your text-to-speech podcast, Rufflecast, the Women's Day Special. The following program is rated 13. In honor of International Women's Day, the boys, Sam, Mike, Scotty, Harvey Zilf, Ruffle Robot, and RoboSoft 3 are spending their day off, while the girls, Anna, Mary, Beulah, Abby, Michelle, Rhonda Raven, and I, RoboSoft 4, have taken over their duties for this day only. I hope you all enjoy it. Good evening ladies. Yup, you heard what RoboSoft 4 said at the intro? This is a special RL cast episode, entirely with women. Yay. So yeah, you've seen Yellowcast doing it, so now it's our turn. Anyway, I'd like you to introduce the ladies in the studio right now, if you haven't already met them yet. This is Mary. Hello. This is Beulah. Hey everyone, so great to be here. We have Michelle Learnout, too. Michelle Learnout? Seriously? My last name is Hobsky, not Learnout. Oh, sorry. I meant Michelle Housepe. That's better. And here we have Dobby, who will present the G for P verse news later on. What's up people of the internet? And our behind the scenes personnel. Robosoft 4, and Rinda Raven. Rhonda will be reading out the questions, and Robosoft 4 will pretty much serve the same purpose as Robosoft 3 did. Anyway, this is now a girls only studio now. Boys are not allowed. Yeah. But anyway, let's get into our first topic. So, for those who live in Hungary and watch TV too, you are fully aware that Sam 3 is dead. What? Dead? When? This morning. At around 5 a.m. It happened when the promos ended, then it cuts to the night loop for a few seconds, and boom. Sam 3 is now TV to club. TV to club? That's the name? Wait a second. TV to just stole the club from RTL. That is so savage. It's like a TV channel exchanging one of the portions of its name to another. So that's why RTL Hungary rebranded two years ago. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, what's new on TV to club? Well, it pretty much shares the same shows from Sim 3, but they now air movies and classic TV to shows including the Hungarian soap opera that resembles most medical soaps like General Hospital. I can't remember what it's called. Joe Ban Ross Ban, I think. Yeah, you guys in Hungary can get to see the old episodes from the beginning, which is pretty cool. But what are the origins of the channel? Well, it started all the way back from October 2022 when TV2 considered rebranding Fan3 to TV2 Club. However, there weren't any news about it until recently when the new TV2 Club channel is expected to take place today, March 8, 2024. So, there you go. That's the history. Okay, let's get them three out of the discussion and move on to something serious. It's about something that you hate. Please don't tell me it's not BJ Adventure Vlog again. Unfortunately, it is. Recently. An episode of 100 Bird Street titled Alakasham was dislike bombed. We checked up on the dislike counter on YouTube Studio, and we don't know why it happened. We thought it was just a glitch, but it's not. Turns out that BJ Adventure Lux Sock Puppet accounts dislike bombed the video deliberately, and with one very stupid reason. They criticize the villains of the show for what they're doing rather than criticizing Norman for the violence featured in it. Sure. How can they dislike bomb the video over what they're watching? That is the stupidest excuse BJ Adventure Vlog Sock Puppeteers would come up with. I really wish BJ Adventure Vlog would just get terminated for that. It's just not fair for him to carry on like that. Yeah. He uses Sock Puppet accounts to dislike bomb videos for no reason, which doesn't make any sense. BJ Adventure Vlog's reign of terror needs to end once and for all. Alex Chapman, if you're watching or listening to this episode, can you please talk about this BJ Adventure Vlog problem on Lulicast? It would be appreciating if you could help us. Now, 
We're gonna talk about TEG 1994. Yes, we have the season finale of PBS Logo Bloopers coming up on Monday, and it's promising to be explosive. However, what you guys don't know is that there are gonna be some major changes taking effect on TEG 1994 in the future. And here we have TEG 1994 director Ellen Williams to explain it all. Hello everyone. TEG1994 has become a cultural icon for TDS YouTubers for over three solid years. The channel provided us with laughs, tears, suspense, and so on. Now, with the PBS Logo Bloopers season finale coming up on Monday next week, there will be big changes coming. Going forward, all TEG1994 videos will now be edited using Vegas Pro 16 for the first time in two years. Yes. We are finally ditching Wondershare Filmora in favor of something more professional and creative. And, to make way for this, the cliffhanger episode will feature the blooper center being destroyed again. It's not the first time it happened. In March last year, the blooper center was destroyed by a bomb explosion caused by Timothy Skies 37 which resulted in the death of Rhonda Ravine. Around the same time, a heist broke out and drug lord Neil burned down one of the floors where he held Isabella hostage, but only one portion of the studio was destroyed. Fast forwarding to two months, a wildfire broke out, causing the blooper center to be destroyed. This was needed for a refurbishment, and the new studio was opened to the public. We still use it today, but not for long. In October, the studio was bombed by the Kremlin stalker, but no one was hurt. I think. Or I don't know. So yeah, this season finale episode will focus on Forex's revenge against the studio and performing an illegal takeover, putting people's lives in danger, and so on. We need someone who can help us redesign the blooper center, revamp some rooms, and more. It can be either 2DCH, Pedro Silva, or others. So, if you guys like to redesign the blooper center, and if you want to volunteer, let us know on Curriculum's Discord server. We'd be happy to hear your thoughts. So, what are you waiting for? The new world of TEG 1994 awaits. Thank you Ellen. Anyway, for the second time this week, it is time to answer your questions. But this time, we are doing things a little differently. Questions that were asked for Sam, Mike, or Scotty will have the girls answer them for them. So, what's the first question? Well, this is a very long question, so you better prepare yourselves. Anyway, this question from Shadowhunter580 says, Did you guys know that Nickelodeon is making a another reboot of the Fairly Odd Parents, but this time it's gonna be made in CGI, and Timmy Turner might not be in the reboot, because there will be a new character named Hazel who is going to be voiced and produced, created by Ashley Crystal Hairston, who used to work on Tiny Toon University and Craig of the Creek from CN and Warner Brothers, pictures animation, comma, especially the fact that there won't be old. Characters coming back afterwards. Oh, my god. That really was a long question. But yeah, I have never heard of it, though I kind of hate it because it doesn't have to meet in it, which sucks. What's next? Question 2. What new Nickelodeon show is better, rock, paper, scissors or is okay of Planet Ruby? I'm choosing rock, paper, scissors, because why not? I like it. Question 3. Do you guys think that Family Guy and The Simpsons might not last longer enough because of the sh modern seasons and due to the actors aging old like a decade now? Well, to be unpopular, yes. Imagine, if those shows were still airing in 2054 and the actors would be really old. Ha 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 ha. Question 4. Who's funny, TB201 or Kazabagan? Kazabagan, obviously. Question 5. Has everybody known about the Barney reboot, which was announced by Mattel, the company that killed off IT Entertainment, and it's partnered with Warner Discovery? Holy shnikes! I don't want Barney to come back! I hate Barney so much! Brian Animates asks, Hey guys! I asked the question on Yellowcast, but what 1994 show do you like the most? Unanimously, it has to be both PBS logo bloopers and funny memes. Question 2. Mike, when are you not going to be a control freak? 
I don't know when, but only, if he gets a brain transplant. That last happened with Sam back in May 2023. Question 3. Can you do an interview with Emily King? Unfortunately, we could not interview her because it's late and we don't want to disturb her at night. So, maybe another time. Tootie C.H. asks, any thoughts on the fact that Stella Monoboshi is returning in Dave and Friends 24? Wow, she's actually coming back for real. That is so cool. Can't wait to see what's going to happen in this new arc. And the Go Anime asks, hey guys, did you know that the episode Uncensored Sailor Mount was revealed? Yikes. What kind of crap had would leak an uncensored version of the Sailor Mouth episode? That is just scandalous. Whoever did it is in serious trouble. Question 2. What is your thoughts on rude removal? Well, it's just as bad as the Sailor Mouth episode. Question 3. Hey Sam, can you cheer up Chuck? Because of its show ended. I wish I could, but he can't stop crying. He's been crying like forever. Question 4. Hey everyone, are you guys excited for spring? Yes. Of course we're excited. In fact, we would be more excited when summer comes. Galactic Warrior 9 asks, Hey Scotty, have you ever tried the Carolina Reaper? It used to be the hottest pepper in the world. I wouldn't want to eat that. It's too hot and spicy. That's what she said. Ha 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 ha. Question 2. Don't worry guys. I've dealt with Jeff and the announcer girl. How's Tabby coming along? Answer the inappropriate carrots! Take it easy, Rhonda. Norman is working on it. She's right. It's up to Norman to decide when he would actually add him, so please stop being so immature or impatient about it. Period. They are right, Rhonda. There is just no point waiting. Remain. Calm. Uh, oh. Tantrum. Is. Coming. On. Now. Just hurry up and get Tabby already or I'm gonna hold you all responsible for my mistakes you crap heads 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 Jeez Louise, Rhonda has lost it. I agree. Anyway, here's Abby with the G for P vs News. Hello everyone, I'm here to tell you everything that is happening on the G4 P vs lately. We start off with some good news as 2DCH said on Discord that the remix new TLD scene is almost finished, but exactly when will you guys get to hear it? Well, you'll have to wait for a while. But, I want to reassure you that there is not long to wait. Once the scene is complete, new TLD223 will probably be uploaded next week or after, along with a new episode of Funny Windows Airs. Plus, there have been negotiations that Dipper and Maple could actually be joined in the G4P verse. It is currently unknown when will that happen, but we will give you more reports once the deal is made. That's all for now. And that's the end for tonight's Garofal cast, the second episode of the week. But before we go, here's a quick update. In a change of scheduling, due to Norma getting tired for today and couldn't want to finish episode 31 of 100 Bird Street at 3 a.m., we're going to have a 100 Bird Street triple bill airing tomorrow. The final two episodes will be serving as the two-part series finale. So unfortunately, there is no yellow cast tomorrow, but there is going to be one on Sunday with an Oscar night special. So yeah, it's going to be one unmissable weekend on curriculum, so don't miss it. Anyway, We'll see you next week when the boys return. Good night ladies. Sleep well.